On Saturday, December 18th, 2021, an infamous post was made to the r slash two sentence horror story subreddit. A horror story that would be remembered for years to come. It went as follows. Barry loved to play in the snow, but so did the meat worm. Oh my gosh, just thinking about it still gives me chills to this day. Such a simple story, but so, so scary. In the years to follow, this post would become somewhat of a celebrity. As a result, many would reference the dangerous meat worm in their own horror stories, continuing its legacy from what we were originally blessed with. But with such success and popularity, many readers became curious. Who is this so-called meat worm? And who is Barry? Where did they come from? What did they do after this story? And are there any hidden meanings waiting to be uncovered? I challenged myself to find out, hoping to reveal the unknown meat worm lore. Firstly, I needed to decode the horror story and try to understand the writing as much as I could. The first sentence states, Barry loved to play in the snow. Let's take a look at that first part. Who is Barry? Unfortunately, we aren't given much to work with. There is no indication who Barry would be, what he looks like, and even how old he is. After scouring the internet, I was able to uncover some fan art, and even a very detailed recreation to the story. It seems that the vast majority believe Barry to be a little kid. A boy, perhaps. But one artist seems to have taken Barry quite literally drawing a grape of some sorts. This may be unrealistic, but you have to think about the bigger picture here. Wouldn't the existence of a meat worm be unrealistic as well? We'll get back into that later though. The depiction of Barry being a fruit could well and truly be the creator's intention. This is a fictional story, and anything could be possible here. Google states that Barry is a unisex name. Barry could be a boy, or Barry could be a girl. Whether Barry is literally a fruit, or a boy or a girl, all we know is that he loves to play in the snow. The use of the word loved indicates that Barry has played in the snow more than once, and is commonly the act of a little child which makes sense as to why artists would depict Barry as a child. Much to my disappointment, there isn't much facts to work with in this first sentence, so it's to my understanding that to proceed with the next one, you have to use your imagination here as a foundation. The second sentence states, but so did the meat worm. Now, I must admit, this part fascinated me deeply. You see, the author states, but so did, linking the second sentence to the first, implying that just as Barry likes to play in the snow, so does this mysterious creature. What other creatures also like to play in the snow? Foxes, red pandas, dogs, and even birds. And apparently now, so does this meat worm. But what could this second sentence mean? Is it a good thing that the meat worm is playing in the snow with Barry? Or is the fact that Barry now has a new companion, this could cause him quite a trouble? This is a two sentence horror story. We need to remember that. Just like other two sentence horror stories out there, they don't normally end quite well. Despite the second sentence explaining that this meat worm also likes to play in the snow, the meat worm's version of playing could mean something quite different just like how animal predators play with their food before eating it. This story could imply that the meat worm would toy with Barry before his ultimate doom. I would love to think about this story as quite a special thing, such a happy moment that Barry and this freak of nature is playing gleefully together and making snowmen. But unfortunately, it seems like other artists and readers depict this as a horror story with a bad ending. What I found, though, may shock many. Something so crazy that it will change the infamous story's depiction forever. You see, shortly after the Meat Worm story garnered some success, a Meat Worm fan by the name of Mr. Bastion posted, The Meat Worm liked playing in the snow. Fortunately, so did Barry. A happy version of the story, no doubt, as we can all expect that Barry would do no harm to this Meat Worm. But lo and behold, who replied to this post was the original author, stating even more Meat Worm lore that I believe not a lot of people are aware about here. Barry and him made a snow worm. Would you believe this? We have uncovered a piece to the meat worm puzzle. Not only does this statement assure us that Barry and the meat worm were able to play in the snow together and have a good time, but it also introduces yet another character into this story, the snow worm. 
I couldn't believe my eyes when I found this. This is not a two-sentence horror story at all. It's a two-sentence enjoyment story. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't able to rejoice for long, as there was still a fact I haven't uncovered. A question that has been wondered by many Meatworm fans. Who is this so-called Meatworm? Well, the truth is... Uh... I don't know. There is literally no more information on the meatworm story than what I could find here. I even asked AI and that wasn't much help at all. There's a video on YouTube of a group of animators who do a joking bit and made some meatworm facts up, but it's just the imagination of someone else. It simply isn't the work from the original creator. We don't know the true intentions for his creation, the meatworm. But maybe that's what you need to do with this. Maybe you just have to imagine what Barry and the meatworm look like. I could guess that because there is also an existence of a snowworm now, that the meatworm is literally just a worm made out of meat, which is absolutely horrifying to think about, but probably just makes the most sense here. I find it hilarious that we were able to uncover the truth to the story and find out that it's actually quite a good ending. What is my computer doing? Is someone at my door? Um. Oh god, the meatworm isn't real, is it? What? There's nothing. What the hell?